In 2004, he set the record for most hours spent in front of a TV camera. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and career of Regis Philbin. What an incredible final night for us here at Millionaire. Regis Francis Xavier Philbin was born August 25, 1931, and was raised Irish Catholic in the Bronx, New York. In 1953, he graduated from Notre Dame University with a degree in sociology, and soon after, he enrolled in the United States Navy. Once his stint in the military ended, Philbin found work behind the scenes in radio and television. After doing some sports and news writing, he moved to on-camera work in the early 1960s. See, Reach? When you're fat, you can wear it. <laughs> in 1967, he started as announcer and sidekick to the host on The Joey Bishop Show. Regis Philbin! I haven't buttoned so many buttons since I was a kid. This led to a number of hosting jobs for Philbin in the early 1970s. In 1975, he took on hosting duties of the failing morning show, AM Los Angeles. Philbin's conversational and excitable demeanor helped rejuvenate the series and it became a success. He also hosted a couple of game shows during this period, including the short-lived program, The Neighbors. Today we're going to find out all about our five good neighbors who live on Osita Avenue in Granada Hills, California. By 1983, Philbin had returned to New York to ABC's The Morning Show. This program was also on the brink of failure, and Philbin helped bring it back to life. After a number of co-hosts, Kathy Lee Gifford was brought on to pair up with Philbin in June 1985. This duo proved to be very successful, and in 1988, Live with Regis and Kathy Lee was syndicated nationwide. In its heyday, Regis and Kathy Lee enjoyed viewership of 18 million people each morning. One of the show's trademarks was the conversational style that Philbin had perfected early on in his career. Unscripted banter and joking between the two hosts offered entertainment value, and Philbin was noted for his comical crankiness. Purple laxative tea, and that's what gets you going. <laughs> it's called smooth move. Oh! Giffords and Philbin's old married couple type relationship put viewers at ease. Ironically, Philbin's real-life wife, Joy, often sat in for Gifford when she was unable to appear. Philbin's informal style translated to the page when he co-wrote two autobiographies, 1995's I'm Only One Man and 2000's Who Wants to Be Me. In 1999, he became the celebrity face of the immediately successful game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And that series spawned his famous catchphrase. Is that your final answer? He went on to win a Daytime Emmy Award for his work on that series as well. In 2000, Kathy Lee Gifford left their morning show. Philbin appeared with a number of other co-hosts until soap opera star Kelly Ripa was finally chosen as her permanent replacement in 2001. That year, Philbin won himself another daytime Emmy for his hosting of Live. As a self-confessed workaholic, Philbin broke the Guinness World Record for the most time in front of a camera with over 15,000 hours in 2004. He added to that when he hosted America's Got Talent, though he was forced to quit after the first season due to the grueling work schedule and commute. He then celebrated the 20th anniversary of his syndicated morning show in the fall of 2007 and followed that up the next year with a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Daytime Emmys. That Lifetime of Achievement has included a number of appearances on talk shows. Well, I wanted to be part of the big time. Ah. You know? And this is the this big time. This is it, huh? <laughs> this is the top I'm beginning of to wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Guest starring roles on sitcoms and even voice work in animated films. Looks like you forgot the candle. During his career, Philbin also released music as a crooner, first in the late 60s and more successfully in the mid-2000s. I can't give you anything but love, baby. Starting in the 1990s, Philbin's health became a growing concern, and this prompted him to release an exercise video called Regis Philbin, My Personal Workout. He was eventually forced to take time off for a triple bypass and later for hip replacement surgery. In 2011, Philbin turned 80, and that was the same year he finally retired from live with Regis and Kelly. After having spent the majority of his life in front of a camera, Regis Philbin has become a beloved pop culture icon and one of the most recognizable faces and voices in daytime television history. Regis Philbin, ladies and gentlemen.